More outfit inspiration today, seven outfits for the winter, some a bit more casual, some a bit more dressed up. My name is Marcel, welcome back to my YouTube channel, One Dapper Street, and before we get started, quick shout out to my sponsor for today's video, that is Ritual, because we dress up to feel good, but we also wanna make sure that we support our body to feel good from the inside, so we'll be talking about the essential for men multivitamin that Ritual offers. But for now, let's get started with outfit number one. I'm putting on a pair of suit supply pants. These are white pleated pants and high waisted as well. I absolutely love wearing winter whites and I love combining them with some lighter earth colors as I'm doing here, a simple H&M turtleneck in a tan color, a bit on the thin side. Then we've got the brown pebble leather tassel loafers from Blackstock and Weber that I think go extremely well with the pants. And then we're finishing that look off with a double-breasted pea coat from Reese in an oatmeal color. In terms of the accessories, we've got a pair of specks in a tortoise shell, and we've got a brown scarf from Zara that I think picks up nicely on the brown of the shoes. So this look definitely is not the warmest look you could possibly put together as for the lighter winter days, but I think that's also reflected in the color. It's a little bit more playful, um, but these pieces, it's a very simple, Look, it's only four pieces and a couple of accessories, but because each piece is very special, I think this look comes together pretty quickly. For the second outfit, we're starting out in another piece from Reese. Uh, these are pleated houndstooth pants in cream and navy. Then we've got from Bruno Mali a pair of brown leather sneakers, a really rich cognac color. On top, we're throwing on from Untuck It a Oxford shirt that's a bit more relaxed, not super fitted. And then on top of that, a V-neck sweater vest in a cream color from Suit Supply as well. So you're seeing that we're going a little bit into that preppy direction, but we're keeping it playful and uh, casual. And you can see that as well here with the mango coat in navy. We've got the same specs again and my coach leather backpack to pick up on that really nice medium brown in the shoes. And there you have it. I absolutely love the combination of these colors. We got the white and the blue, and then just those rich brown accents. Uh, playing with the button here, I think makes it even more stylized and uh, yeah, feels youthful, but still put together. Now, if you look really closely, you'll see something in my pocket and that is the Essential for Men multivitamin from Ritual. And it's the perfect time to be talking about it because the year just started off and it is about that time to start switching out the unrealistic expectations for resolutions with actual daily habits that stick. I have been taking vitamins to fill in gaps in my nutrition for over a decade, and I'm a big fan of this multivitamin in particular for a multitude of reasons that I'll go into in just a second. But just the simplicity of taking two capsules a day to help support your brain and your heart health, normal muscle function, as well as your immune system in general is fantastic. You've got 10 essential ingredients in each and every capsule, and they are entirely traceable. A big part of Ritual's mission is to make sure that they're transparent about where their vitamins are coming from and how they are sourced. There's a million options to buy your vitamins from, but that's why I personally trust that company a whole lot. They are vegan-friendly, non-GMO, allergen-free, and gluten-free, and while the essential for men is one multivitamin they make, they also cater to other people's needs, both men and women of different ages, and they also have an essential protein range and a symbiotic range. Now, if that sounds good to you, you can start your new ritual today, either by scanning that QR code or by clicking the link down below in the description box. Now, back to the fashion with outfit number three, in a pair of Madewell jeans. Then we've got the simple white tank top from ATOS as the base layer up top, and then a beautifully matched pair of greens, both from Abercrombie, a hoodie and a varsity jacket first popping on the hoodie. And not only do those pieces go together, but also these clay sneakers with that carpet detailing on the heel. So absolutely loving how well the colors are working out here. That varsity jacket in itself is absolutely beautiful. I don't know if you follow me on Instagram. If you don't, you should. Uh, you would have already seen this look. I'm finishing it off with a pair of Warby Parker specs and a BDG corduroy tote bag in white. So we do have that white element in the shoe and the bag and then that cream in the sleeves as well as the hem of the jacket. Really liking this as a somewhat monochromatic play on a fairly essential look of a bomber varsity jacket, hoodie, jeans, and sneakers. Now for look number four, we're getting fairly slim with the jeans. These are from Mango, then we've got a really nice button-down shirt from Les Deux in a medium brown color. Similar to what I said with the first outfit, I like the lighter colors with the light earth tones as well. So here we're throwing on a tan-colored denim overshirt from Mango as well. We've got a pair of suede Chelsea boots from Aquatalia, 
almost like in between the shirt color and the overshirt color. And then we're covering that up with the Hevo coat, a few brown tones, significantly darker. And it works well if you belt it and close it. Has a little bit more of a polished, grown up look this way. And what I love about that is just the different layers in the collar. But of course, you can wear the coat open on top as well and let the base of the outfit shine through a little bit more. I think that makes it a lot more casual, but I do love that overall combination of the light blue with the different earth tones. Outfit number five on a Friday, we're getting a little bit more casual, a bit more experimental. We're starting out in Todd Snyder X um, Bodega cargo pants, that is simple turtleneck in black from Zara, and then a pair of ASOS chunky Chelsea boots from a couple years ago. I wish they still made them. They're starting to slowly go. Um, a beautiful new piece uh, from Brooks Brothers that they sent me personalized actually, a camouflage corduroy shirt, gorgeous. And uh, we're leaning a little bit into that military inspiration here with the cargo pants and the boots and the shirt, but we're throwing on a double breasted overcoat up top, then a tote bag and one more time those specs from Jade Black, now a perfect match for this shirt. And I'm really, really liking this. It feels like a dressed up um, military, fashion dude. I don't, I don't know if you disagree. I really like the colors here. Um, I'm loving playing with uh, brown and black, which is not something I normally do all that much, but I think this really, really works. On Saturday, we are starting out in a pair of Reese pants. These are much simpler than the ones we saw in look number two. And then uh, these beautiful new Aldo boots, really dark, rich red, and then that chunky black sole. So um, taking some inspiration from those boots, but we're taking a Abercrombie loose fitting great t-shirt up top. And then also from Abercrombie, this cardigan and this is where the inspiration is kicking in of that little bit of uh, red accent in the cardigan that I think looks uh, really nice with the boots. Then we're adding the same coat we just looked at, but this time in black uh, from ASOS as well. And uh, throwing on a large black scarf and a simple knitted beanie in black from Abercrombie as well. So a little bit of a grungy look here, but not super, not super distressed, not super grungy. Just like the, like you look at it and it looks like a polished grungy look, which doesn't necessarily sound like it should work, but I'm really, really liking this. If the cardigan is too crazy for you, you can keep the rest of the outfit monochromatic and just let the shoe shine as a colored accent. For the last look, we're staying very comfortable. It's what I'm wearing right now, and trust me, it is very comfortable. Um, these pants are incredibly stretchy. They are from Oak and Fort. The sneakers are from New Balance, the 530s. Uh, once again, we have that ATOS tank top as the base layer up top, on top of which I'm throwing this Zara ripped sweater in a navy color. And you might wonder why navy, because this Reese jacket that I absolutely love, really nice fleece jacket with a fun print on it, incorporates cream, blue, navy, and brown. So we're playing off of that with the canvas tote, as well as the uh, sunglasses that are blue and brown. So this is a whole blue and brown look, uh, perfect for running some errands on a Sunday or just staying in. Obviously the shades just if it's sunny and not indoors ideally. But um, yeah, I got the inspiration from the jacket that I absolutely love. So that's all seven outfits. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and enjoyed today's looks, that you got some inspiration from it. Links, as always, are down below for you guys to shop for whatever I could find that's still available. Some things will be replaced by some alternatives, so you'll see that as well. And don't forget to check out Ritual if you wanna do something good for your body and fill in those nutritional gaps. You can take advantage of the 40% off deal by clicking the link down below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you soon with the next video. Until then, as always, stay dapper. Bye all.